want to see a little bit more on that, that spring action there. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Dan, 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 dan. Did I jack this car up more? I probably did. Dear, would you like some coffee here? Have some coffee, man. Drink up. Drink Ooh, a little bit. Come on. Baby. A little bit more. more oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. good. Man, you're a messy deer. All right. You look so sloppy now, dear. I know what you do for me, Toyota. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I am Scotty. Honey, you're watching Beamus. Break me up. Some of you are saying this and going, finally, yay, vehicle time. Do I like vehicles? Not really. Chris, do you like vehicles? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you have been asking me, please review some vehicles, man. Well, here you go. First of all, let me give a big shout out and thank you to Zing Yu or Shine Yu or Happy Build for sending me the set to review for you guys. I was forced to review a vehicle. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. They're pretty cool. This one is not motorized. You know, they do have like two versions of most cars, like motorized or non-motorized. What is this? What are we looking at? Let me tell you all about it. So what you're looking at is the Toyota J40. I guess that stands for Jeep. YCQC012, 2,101 pieces. So the best thing about this set is that it is, I guess you could say authorized, licensed. Yes, it really does say Toyota. It doesn't say Toyota or Toyota or to Toho or, or Kaka. It really says Toyota. This is the box on them. It's pretty dinged up. This is one of the reasons why we don't send with original boxes. You can certainly request it. It'll cost you a lot more. We can shrink this thing down to like half the size of this box. But there you go. That was the front. This is the back. It's actually pretty attractive on the box. It's like it's got a nice, nice shine to it. But then you see this and you're like, where'd the shine go, man? It looks more realistic, like it's been through the mud and back. It does come with a nice booklet here. I shall put it right there so you can see it nice and clearly, easy to read. Now I'm gonna flip it to the back here. And on the bottom there, it has all the copyright information so that this is Toyota. So all the printing, all the stickers, whatever, print or stickers on this thing, it's legit. So good job, Happy Build. They are trying their best to be completely legit with this set. And I should actually show you what a page looks like. Dude, I'm not a Technic person, all right? I've tried several times. I suck at putting gears together. It is easy to read, but man, lining up like the little poles and gears and all that kind of stuff, scare the hell out of me. So the color of the page here is kind of like gray. Now, when you come across to these kind of pages, it's blue. What does blue stand for? Blue, it probably means like it's the motorized version. And it'll tell you, it'll say like, this color page is for the dynamic version. For static version, please skip them directly. Now, in case you're like me and you're like, what is dynamic and static? Dynamic means it moves, static means it doesn't move. Non-motorized version. We are looking at the non-motorized version. This is available on BigMeUpScotty.com. They also have a bunch more sets too, so that we don't list on the store. So if you really want them, let us know. You know, maybe we'll put more on. But, you know, kudos to them for being original, being legit. Let's look at this hunk of junk. Overall impressions, it was actually pretty easy to put together. I was like, oh, there you go. And that's probably because it's not motorized. Motorized, man, I don't know if this thing would work if it was motorized. When I pull it back and forth, it's a little bit tight there, but interestingly enough, if you like just rotate the wheels here and turn left and right, it's totally fine. Even the back kind of spins like okay there, you know? It's got some tug to it, but other than that, it's like, hey, hey, this thing actually pretty all right. I guess we can start with the front here. We're looking at the button. This thing is like a little baby toy. I guess the only weird thing is that they're using this hook, which is cool, but this is like standard figure brick size for your fix. It's kind of small, right? It's so tiny. Psh, hook it onto there and then you wheel it on back in. Hopefully I'm doing it in the right direction. That is a very nice printed plate right there. It does say Toyota on it. Very cool. The one down here is a sticker. They have a sticker sheet and it comes with doubles, which is really good in case you screw one thing up or you want to sell the thing, you get a replacement. 
Or maybe I was supposed to use those stickers. I don't know. The bumper looks nice and fat. I don't know how I'm supposed to explain cars, you know? We got the front hood here, which does open up. I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. And it has a little thing right here that you can pull out and you can just kind of like, I guess you can go like that and hold the hood there. But of course we want to see what details this has, right? So if I open it up here, close this part there, I'll lift it up for you and go, boom, look at that. Got the engine right there. That is a beautiful engine. You even have the pistons. And I think when you roll it, I don't, are they supposed to go up and down? Oh, you know what? I'm not quite sure if those pistons are supposed to move up and down. I have a feeling that they do. So I, that might be my fault. I'm not an expert at putting these things together. I'm always trying to go back and check the gears and everything, but I'm like, oh man, I feel like I'm forcing or about to break pieces when they snap together. But if you're a car guy and you like details, that, is that pretty good for a Jeep? Toyota? Is it one to one? I mean, not scale, but like detail? That looks pretty cool. Actually, Chris built that part. Chris, good job. Maybe that's why it doesn't work here. I'm just kidding. You did a good job there, and then I continued the rest for him. So we'll close the hood there. We'll come to the side. It's a little bit plain to me. I don't know about these cars. You know, if I had to do another car, what other car would you like me to review? If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so I can bring you more. And if you really want me to do more cars, I'll do more cars for you. Actually, Happy Build did send me a second car. Chris, would you mind getting the box of the other car? The pieces are still in there. It's been sitting here. If for some reason, this gets a lot of views and all likes, maybe I'll do this one, yeah. This one is also licensed. Oh yes, look at this one. This is the Supercar 911. What's this, Porsche? Poor size design. Wait, this one doesn't actually say the name of the car. So maybe they didn't get the, they didn't get this one authorized. Oh, but it is designed by, it is designed by Mock. Like it has a flag there. I think this one is motorized. Anyway, this is the Supercar 911. YCQC 016, 2,125 pieces. I'm just like, oh man, do I want to build it? I don't know. But thank you again, Shine You, Thank You, for sending me that. So back to this, side looks all right. This thing is super, super sturdy. It's got spring in this thing too, right? Am I supposed to talk about all that stuff? Suspension, this thing is not gonna fall apart or go anywhere. So right there, there is a sticker. It's like a decal, it's really small. You get that as well on the other side. And I think there's actually one more. Well, maybe I screwed up. I think there's a couple more. I can't remember where I put them. Here's the door. You can actually lift, I, oh wait, yeah, you pull it down. It actually functions, it works. It's kind of like not working on me now. As soon as I do this review, there we go. You can open the door there and you can kind of see how it functions there. Yeah, cool. That opens and closes just fine. Slam it back closed. Oh, wait, down, yeah, there, oh, there you go. You gotta push it down pretty good, man. You gotta use some grip for that. That's kind of hard to grab. I like the tires. The tires are monster thick, man. They're nice. Now I'm gonna flip it to the back here. Boom. Look at my buttocks. Probably my favorite part about the set is the back. You know why? Because I love the shovel. It can come off and you know, you need just to dig something up. And then of course my favorite being the gas tank. I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. That was fun to put together. Would you like to have some gas? That's cool. It's got little things in here and it does open up. Let me see if I can pry the sucker open this side. Oh, these parts actually open up separately, but you can open there. I guess the good thing about Technic is that it feels like it's super glued together. Taking this thing apart, probably gonna be a pain in the butt. And you can see a little bit of the inside there. We'll take a closer look at that in a bit. Let's just close this up, flip it to the side here, and you can see this side, which is a mirror of the other side, except for right here. I guess it's for going underwater, right? This is how much I know about cars, man. I just see those things like going in the water, like up to here. Same deal with this door. Oh, where's the piece for the door? It's gone, Chris. Oh, I lost it. Oh, it's, it fell out. Well, that's not good. Oops, I didn't even realize I was missing the door handle here, so I just replaced it for now. And same deal, you kind of like pull up on it, pull down, so it opens and closes just fine. I thought that's actually kind of cool. It acts like a, a real door right there. Okay, so we'll close this up. Now, the reason why these pieces are loose 
because the top piece can actually come off. And I think you can actually slot them in tight in there, but then you can't take this piece off. I'm gonna take it off right now. I'm gonna take off from the back here. Actually, the whole front is very loose there. See, it goes like that. You can cruise around the car like this and be like, yeah, yeah. And you slide this up here, slide this up here. We'll look at this in a second. Now I will flip it there. And you can kind of see the inside there. So the dashboard here, they're all stickers. You got the gear shift here. I wonder if this is what you would use in the, the motorized part, right? You got the steering wheel here. Now it's supposed to be able to turn the wheels, I think. There's a rubber band piece that goes underneath. I couldn't find it, so I used my daughter's headband to hold it down, but you know, I'm, I'm, that's not too important to me, but it's cool. You got a nice fat steering wheel there. The chairs look good. They have a slight recline there, they can go down, they can pull them back up like that. So I'm liking how it's like super sturdy. So you got the back here, emptiness, but it's cool. The seats can fold up. These are not too minifigure scale. So I put a minifigure inside. There, I put a figure there in the front seat. As you can see, it is not to scale for the figure. So I put them back here. Oh, they are tilted like that. Vroom. Just to show you guys real quick, on the book there, on the top is the sofas that I put in, which I think looks a lot better. At the bottom, it has like another option if you want to install like the, the rail. It looks so plain with just the rails. Why would you want to just use that? So I went for the sofa part and that is the Jeep. Now let's look at the rooftop piece here. This is super sturdy. You know, you can put all your extra accessories here, but same deal, right? So you have a ladder here, but it's not to, to, to scale, right? So it makes everything feel kind of weird, like the hook in the front of the car. And it's got a couple of headlight look there. Yo, that was easy to review. Am I supposed to ex explain anything else to you guys? Like quality, it feels good. Like everything's together. And I can put this back down here. So again, these, these flaps are a little bit loose because you know, you're supposed to be able to take off and on this rooftop. I'm not sure if you're supposed to pull those in more or not. No missing pieces, but apparently I have a missing door handle now. Yeah, and it, it is durable. Look at that. And it just it feels a little bit tight when I'm rolling it like this. I'm not supposed to, sure if it's supposed to be like that or just because it was supposed to be for the motorized version. But if you look at it here, if I just drop it like that, nothing's falling apart except this, which we knew would be loose just because it's not attached to anything here on the front side. You know, the windshield kind of moves up and down. But I guess it has a Technic feel to it, if you're a Technic fan. If you want to see the bottom side of this, you see it from here. Did I do this correctly? I don't even know if I built this correctly or not. Right? So if I go like this, and I move it, see, it's, it's all, it's, oh, it's not turning this part. So it's like tight to turn it. See, I, I probably screwed up on that. There, and then this one here. So it's like the gear wants to turn. See, if I'm turn, it, see, okay, if I turn it from here, they all turn, but it's like super tight. So that's probably my problem. That's why I don't do Technic, guys. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, I don't even know if Big L makes this or not, man. Uh, this one, no. I don't think so. They don't make it, right? They make the Land Rover. Yeah, Big L makes a Land Rover, which is different, right? Okay. What's the dimensions on this? I don't know what the dimensions on it. Do we do dimensions for things this big? Look, this is your dimension right here. You compare it to my head. Okay, that's your dimension right there. So now it's time to drop this thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to survive. Come on, Toyota. Don't let me down. Hey, not too bad, you guys. The thing kind of survived. Nothing looks like it, it failed. It's all, everything seems intact except this part. Did I do this right? I don't know if I did this right or not. There, 
This part flew off. That's very easy to fix. There, look at that, done. Oh man, this is awesome, yes. Since this review is so short, let me just read what the instruction says and show you a couple of beautiful shots. From the Atacama, Atacama, oh, that's a cool name. Desert to the Rocky Mountains. From the dunes of Dubai to the open plains of Australia. The Toyota FJ Land Cruiser is the most reliable, durable, almost unbreakable vehicle, that's true. Even this one, that will take you wherever you need it to go. The FJ Land Cruiser became the famous model of the Toyota brand and became a spokesperson for Japanese engineering. At the same time, it is the world's first experience to know with Toyota car brand. I have no idea what the hell that just said. The FJ Land Cruiser is outstanding of transporting people or goods. Whatever the place have the... They just cut it off right there. How dare they leave it. I need to finish that sentence. Don't look, they actually have the whole history of the J40, the pro way to go. They call this a snorkel. Sure it's not supposed to be a snorkel. Toyota Global Licensing, good for you. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, dear, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's move. So there you guys go, the Toyota J40 from Shiny New Happy Build. What do you think? Cool? I guess it's missing a little bit of shine. I guess you can always spray it down, lather it up, put some, put some KY on it, make it shine. That would look probably more prettier. You know, it looks actually looks pretty okay. You know, it's it's a solid piece of gear. It's a solid piece of vehicle, man. I am kind of curious to see how their other builds are now or any other sets, you know. This is available on my store, breakmeupscotty.com. You have two versions. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. Broom. Oh, <laughs>